decide that how much gas cows give out is the single biggest problem facing mankind. Guys, are we out of whack or what? Huh? We've lost our compass, right? And I think that's the most important thing. We've lost our compass. I mean, as my wife and I have talked, and we've talked about this a lot, when you were growing up, did you ever think, and we've got three lovely daughters, by the way, and they are. My second claim to fame, by the way, is I am the father of the three most beautiful daughters in the world, all right? <laughs> I got three daughters. And I, I talked to Jennifer as I was coming here, and I said, Jennifer, in today's world, who would have ever thought that you couldn't figure, fill out the gender part at birth? Right? I mean, who would have ever thought? We're just in a whacked up world, and things have just spun out of control. And I would ask you this other one, and that is, and it seems just so common to some of us, who would ever think in today's society, if you said all lives matter, you could be fired? Guys, do we need an awakening? The dirty little secret. People ask this, well, Donnie, how are we going to get this thing back? This world's in utter disarray. How do we get it back? And everybody hates to hear this. But the sad truth is if you want change, it's got to start with you. Right? It's got to start with you. And as I've told our, I told you just a little bit about my family. If you look at why this country, I believe, is in the way and form it is today, what's happened to the family? Guys, what's happened to our family? God bless, I'm blessed, okay? And so much of who you are is defined by who raised you, right? That family centered in God is what starts you out the right way, right? And for those that don't have that luxury, who are them? We've got to get the family strong. As I told my mother, my mother is 88 years old. She's frail, she's little, and she is feisty. <laughs> she raised nine boys, right? Everybody comes up to me and goes, your mother, she must be a saint. <laughs> and I said, let me just tell you, I live with my mother. My mother is tough. You know what her golden rule was growing up with nine boys? If you ain't bleeding, she didn't want to hear about it. All right? So she is a tough old girl, right? She, the other day, at 4th of July, we all get together with the family. We're doing the fireworks, we're down there, and everybody, of course, mom and dad now, have been married together for 68 years. And we put mom on the spot, we said, Mom, advice, how do you do it 68 years? First she quit, she said, well, it's not easy with your dad. <laughs> and she said, but if I were to share advice to the group, I would tell you that God has to be part of the marriage. Okay? And she said, I am super, super proud of being married 68 years. She said, but that's not my accomplishment. And she said, that's what we need to change in America. It's not about me. It's about what I leave behind. And she's talking about her sons, right? One son passed away. There's eight of us left. Married. All married. And i got to pull this out because it's a number I don't remember. She said, it's one thing for me to be married 68 years to the same man. But I've got eight sons married 252 collective years 
to their original life. or eight important people, the other seven important U.S. people, and they're in a U. He says, call in the hats. That's what he called us. <laughs> we get called in here. He told us nothing, so Trent Luce doesn't have anything on me. We had nothing. He calls us in. He goes, guys, we got politicians on this side. We got politicians on that side. The guys in the middle have to make their living off the rules we write. How about we listen to the guys in the middle? He turns to us, and again, nothing is scripted, guys, zero. 
He turns to us, the President of the United States, and says, let them have it, boys. <laughs> if you don't think there is hope, guys, when we band together and we vote right, can we take this nation back? Yeah. We can take this nation back. Now on with the real program. That was just my introduction. My apologies for going just a bit long there. Who's going to be next? Is it going to be Emily? Robert? Oh, we got the man of the hour, guys.